dropping any examination in a professional qualification ultimately comes down to mindset you know conceptual and technical clarity is extremely crucial it often comes down to how you prepare for the exam and what your mindset is there is a very famous quote that goes uh, the more you sweat in training the less you bleed in combat and keeping this in mind we've come up with this video for you also if you're someone who has the ambition of not just clearing an exam but topping an exam here are a few tips that we've compiled and hopefully you will find this helpful uh, hi guys i'm rushil i'm a part of the product team here at zell education and at zell we have trained thousands of candidates many of whom have gone on to be rankers Uh, for professional accounting and finance courses such as ACCA, CPA, CMA, CFA, and Diploma in IFRS. Guys, when I often speak to toppers, uh, there are a few striking qualities that always stand out, uh, and I'm going to share those striking qualities with you all. So hopefully, uh, you know, when you are preparing for these uh, exams, you can keep these in mind and benefit from them. The very first quality that I notice in them is their consistency. you know if you have to train let's say 100 hours for any given examination it is always better to do 2 hours a day and you know phase it across a period of time rather than doing those 100 hours in the last 2 weeks of your exam while doing it in the last 2 weeks of your exam help you pass the exam they might not necessarily help you achieve a rank if that is something you crave and if that is your ambition getting a rank majorly involves two aspects the first is your conceptual clarity the second is your mindset you can only have a very confident mindset if you know uh, you have prepared consistently every single day you've given the you know necessary amount of time required to each and every concept guys the second quality that often stands out is their prowess with their devices that are used in the examination a great example of this would be a calculator now if you are a cfa student or an accs student you have to use a scientific calculator or i believe the texas instruments ka ba2 plus calculator now your prowess with this calculator is extremely important the difference between being able to do a sum in 30 seconds versus being able to do the same thing in 20 seconds is massive and this is one of the striking features that often you know a lot of these people share and that is the ability or the prowess with the devices that they have to use in the examination they're so good at it that uh, you know they're able to do things quicker they're able to do things more efficiently more accurately so spend a good amount of time with whatever it is that you're going to be using in the examination whatever is relevant to you be very good at it guys the next vital skill that i want to talk to you all about is not just a skill that will help you top the exam but also a skill that might take you very far in your career and this is the ability to jot down or express your thoughts in a way that makes it very easy for people to understand there must be a structure to what you say there must be a structure to how you write your answers and this is mostly relevant for your subjective style questions in cpa for bc in specific in acca for all your subjective papers and in cfa for level 2 and level 3 cma also has ss style questions so you know regardless of the course that you take up it is extremely important for you to have the ability to express your thoughts in an extremely structured yet simple manner the next point that i want to talk to you all about is creation of your own notes and a lot of toppers do have this in common where you know they often come to us after they've topped an exam and they will show us uh their their set of preparations and how they managed to do it and one thing that always stands out is how clear and concise and to the point their notes are now if you are someone who is studying a very practical topic let's say a corporate finance in cfa then if you have noted down all the important formulas that you need to know it will make your life very easy when you are preparing or when you are revising so consider making your own notes make them tidy make them structured keep them to the point you don't need to write down everything keep what is most relevant to you guys the next point that i want to talk to you all about is the importance of attending lectures live it is very important for you to have a mentor or a faculty in place who has the ability to hear out all your doubts as many as they are and solve them on the spot so maybe inculcate the habit of attending classes live guys the final point that i want to talk to you all about is time management Now on this channel we've gone on and on and on about the importance of time management. However, when you're preparing for the exam, 
it is extremely important to keep the requisite amount of time in mind and preparing and appearing for your mock exams in a way that considers time time management into the equation now if you are someone who needs a customized study plan we will be more than happy to help you out with this so reach out to us through the number given in the description box below and we will help you out uh, guys with that i have covered a few points that every topper that i have ever spoken to or come in contact with at zell education has shared now these are qualities that i have observed other than this there are a few other qualities that they obviously have there are a few who completely deviate from this and are still top examinations however if you inculcate these habits into how you are studying you can potentially aim at topping an examination or more guys with that being said thank you for watching today's video any suggestions are more than welcome in the comments below and we will help you out